14 does seem a lot easier, it's correct. <laughs> Probably. Alright. And they're off. They're off to the races. Sidewinder. So RJ is our uh, returning champion, right? Yes. This is really loud. Currently defending. Thank you. <laughs> well, let's see how RJ does. Did they? Right. Most people oh. know about this. I do play with RJ every once in a while when I'm streaming, or sometimes we'll just play off stream. And we will do full first to 50s. <laughs> I will take maybe 10 to 20 games. <laughs> he's uh, very good at Tetris. Yes, I'm just saying. He's not, uh, <laughs> not going to be too rusty, even though he doesn't play too often. Although... This is interesting. Big combo coming up from Sayonara, followed by a misdrop. Oh. Two misdrops. Oh, very nice fixes, Wait. though. It's unfortunate they needed that T for the left side. Otherwise, that would have been really, really funny. Very clever fixes, I do agree. Tetris. I mean, so far, like, nobody's been able to land a really promising hit. Oh! Uh, dude? Uh, messes up the the mini there. Not really sure what happened, yeah. He looked down at his controller, so maybe there was a... Uh, kind of weird. Finger he's, was on the wrong button? I don't know. I guess so. He is... Yeah, he's playing on a keyboard wired, so it couldn't have been, like, delay or anything. Because uh, I'm playing on Joy-Cons, and... Uh, I love him, but ugh. Okay, still living, but finally getting squeezed out here. Does not have the eyepiece in time. There is not enough time in the world to fix that, sadly. Nope. <coughs> All right, next game. All right, classic TKI. But what will he do with it? Does Sayonara only rotate one way? There's no way. There's no way. I'm watching now. <laughs> Three right turns he to go did, left. He did just triple rotate, though. I did see that. I think someone mentioned that the last time he was on stream. He does. He does? Oh, we love to see it. We have a triple rotator in the house. Oh, yeah, but look at this. Look at this. This is good. Is what? there, for, for a layman us. like me, um, is it... What is the significance of that? Is it just because it's it's an just extra slower? Press? Yeah, yeah. You okay. just you just like he had to press uh, the rotation button six times to get so that he, T in the right place. So he only has. Is it because he only has one rotate button? I don't know. I mean, uh, John, when you were fighting Imasuka, wait, did you fight Imasuka? No, oh, no, no, you did. He's been triple set up. Well, no. when Imasuka was playing, uh, I did they only rotate one direction? I wasn't paying I'm pretty attention. sure this is their controller. Um, but we were watching him play. Is there zero benefit? Like, there's no points or anything? I there's know. no benefit. You just go slower. Yeah. It's like I'm doing three clockwise rotations when I could have just did one counterclockwise. Got one hand for mashing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> there's actually, I mean, there's some, like, rotations or spins that you just simply can't do. So I assume that uh, CO does rotate the correct way for those. Because, like, I think, I mean, obviously, it's not like the Tetris community is any stranger to people who rotate one direction and are still insane at the game. Like, mm -hmm. that classically, like, ZZ Small did this in Tetrio while playing at 5 billion miles an hour. So, like, people can make it work. Yeah, um, it's, it's like, it's on paper slow, but the, it can potentially not really affect the player's ability. It'll matter more in this game than a game like Tetrio, I think. Mm. But uh, at the same time, like... Yeah, it's just at some point, like, you know, you're used to it. It would take more effort for you to think of what you have to do to not do that. And people just decide, like, eh, you know, if it's, you know, ends up being the bottleneck, then I'll deal with it when that happens. But Less mental instructions? Yeah, maybe. John, you got games on your phone? <laughs> I was checking something. 
<laughs> oh no! Oh. oh wait, hang on. Ooh, the recovery. Okay, okay. Nearly fumbled the bag there. Yeah. It's not a recovery yet. Look at Ark's board. I mean, as long as he gets his eye out. Yeah, we're still living, folks. Somehow, Jesus. Oh, but now uh, this is a little bit hairy. Not really too many ways to downstack this without. Oh! Uh, he had an opportunity there, but sadly. I think that might have been. Um, I mean, I, I can't really tell. It went by too fast, but that might have been a circumstance where when you're really high um, on the board, sometimes you may get a wall kick trying to rotate a piece that you were not expecting. Uh, yeah, and I you wouldn't have gotten. Happened. Yeah, when you wouldn't have gotten those if, they, if you were lower on the board. Um, so that might have been what, what pushed that L one to the right. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna pull the layman card again. Um, this isn't Mario 64. What is a wall kick? All right. So um, every piece has a set of basic rotations. Where if you're yeah. in free space, you flip the piece around. Those are the positions it'll take up. Sometimes those positions will be overlapped with, you know, other pieces in the stack or walls or whatever, uh -huh. in which case the piece moves when you rotate it out oh, of the way. Oh, when it like kind of like jumps yeah. uh, when it spins. Yeah, okay. the I easiest understand. way to think about it is... Uh, oh, you have the PC. Yes. Sorry, go on. <laughs> the easiest way to think about it is, you know how an eyepiece, when it's uh, upright yeah. and then you rotate it to be flat... It's going to be like sticking out in both directions. Yeah. If they didn't do anything about that, the piece would simply not be able to move if it was up against a wall. Yeah, so then it just like it rises. It, well, or it moves, moves away. Left or right, yeah, it moves yeah. away from the wall. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, SRS, the rotation system used in this game and also every guideline game, has uh, a somewhat complicated set of wall kicks, and that means you can use them to do some really, really heinous crimes. Like if you everything, know them well. like everything we've been seeing baseball boy do. Yeah, um, but also atrocities. Yeah, yeah there, there's some atrocities there for sure. <laughs> and uh, but it also means that they might show up when you kind of don't want them. So in that case, yeah. <laughs> well, coming back to the original thing here, <laughs> when the stack is really, really high and the pieces spawn like right above the stack, like one or two rows above the stack, you might have that happen when the in pieces, free space that was not, that wouldn't happen. The pieces do very, very interesting things if they're on a floor. Yeah. So are there sometimes uh, strategic advantages of like uh, taking advantage of, of that behavior? Uh, yeah, you get different rotations, but one, I can't think of any. Say, I mean, uh, most spins will abuse uh, SRS kicks, but also, um, in particular, when people are really high up on the board and they're trying to like play for survival, they may use SRS's propensity to kick pieces off the floor to get them over something onto the other side yes. of the stack and things like that. Elevators. Yeah, stuff like this. Ah, nice. Very, very big very, damage from oh. Sayonara. Uh, that's a little bit interesting, but probably can turn this into something useful. Yeah. Ark's gonna go for Ren. Might See what enough. he gets. Ren. Yeah. Ren. Not enough. Yeah, we're gonna live it. Well, he's, uh, he's alive. Yep. Oh, this is a bit... Bit of a commitment here. Okay, he's gonna bail. Sayonara was looking for some kind of Kaidon setup over there, I think. Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh, Want to talk risky? Ah, uh, that pays off. Yeah. Sayonara was looking for a down stack, missed dropped a piece, and that was the end of that round. Takes a super T spin double to the face for his troubles. <clears throat> oh, that's a bit of a flub. He'll have to go for uh, nine one, uh, nine zero. Oh. Top opportunity. Throws Sinar's it away. Yeah. Sinar's got so much in the tank right now, though, so. Yeah. Tough board. Swing in. A little bit hard to set up the T spin on the left for Sayonara, but does manage to put it together a few rows above the garbage. We're gonna get another one here. Art still, RJ still being pressured here. Oh, very nice. Fix the stack. Setting up Ooh. for a clean Tetris while counting to four. RJ gonna 
tennis it right back. Tennis? Just like the name for Tetris. Whoa! <laughs> oh, very nice prop there. Nice little skin. And Sinar has been hanging on for so long, even rounds that uh, that he's lost. And... Again, it's not going to call anything about this round beforehand, but man, do these rounds go back and forth. Oh, we're really setting up to to win some T-spins here. Oh, uh, oh, oh going to need it. this Z to fix it now. Or not. Oh, yeah, got rid of the... Uh, of the, the wall that would have kicked that in. Oh, this is not oh, going to work no, anymore. Oh, no, no! It's Ugh. fine. Actually, RJ doesn't have enough in the tank to really punish Sayonara for this, so looks like Sayonara is going to get out of it. This has been a very spaghetti game, I got to say. And oh, Sayonara clean. takes it. There we go. Sayonara with another one on the board. With, I think our first 100,000 game. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to score at the time. But yeah, that round went on for a hot second. All right, let's see what we got. I gotta say, I'm just thinking about it. It feels like Witch is just the strongest character here in the canon because her weakest attack is Meteor Shower. Eh, you know. She is dropping meteors on you. Yeah, but like, what's the accuracy of a Meteor Shower? Like, let's be honest. I feel like you don't need it to be that high. Yeah, it, it's like... It, it can be pretty off and still... <laughs> you, only, <laughs> you only need one of them to hit. I think it's mostly a visual, you know? All right. Oh. Ugh. Sanar gets a uh, spike there. He had a chance for a combo, but killed too quick. And then what? Her ultimate attack is Supernova? Supernova? Eh, you know. She's too powerful, I tell you. <laughs> Nerf Witch! Is she a two -two? Nerf Witch in the cannon. Alright. Pretty good. Not going to take the chance to set up the T-spin single into T-spin double there. Instead, going to set up T-spin double into Tetris for Sinai. Oh, very nice. That's such good stacking. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. All right. Using the T to prop the overhang. Oh, and using another T in the stack. That is going to actually kill Sinai's output for a little bit here. Um, Fixes it kind of quick with those line hurdles. Yeah. I mean, it didn't. It didn't end up like ruining the stack in terms of stability, but it did mean that RJ had more chances to get out of this. All right, gonna do a little rend gaming. What did Sayonara fight in uh, Winners? Super Shocky. Okay. Right, he that won. Went, that went all the way to the wire. Oh, okay. Yep. Very nice with the horizontal eye. Love to see that. Oh. Oh, combo from Radical Dreamer. Yeah, now we're a little bit overstacked here. There's not a good way to fix this for Sayonara, so if RJ has anything lined up, this not might yet. be over. Yeah, looks like he didn't find anything in time. Sayonara gonna get out here. All right, RJ is clean again, though. I'm sure he would have liked to set up a super there, but. I think he's trying to land the kill. Okay. Ooh. Weird shape, but he gets it. And RJ is so overstacked. Over yeah. He can get that over, but... Okay, all right. Sayonara blocking there. That, that cross spacewalk. That hold was a uh, on reaction. So very, very good from Sayonara. Very good awareness. Hmm. What do we got here? Oh, my God. He doesn't know where to put it. He's yeah, he, didn't, Tetris. he didn't want to block off his following garbage hole, but yep. he was kind of forced into it. All, you got? All right, Sayonara. Again. Putting. Now he just has to do that for another seven games. Yeah. No problem. All right. Lining up this uh, prophecy underneath the attempted perfect clear. RJ's got damage. so much, though. Uh, doesn't want to use that T in the stack, but oh, going to have Oh, he to. put his eyepiece down. <laughs> I think he meant to hold and then drop, but oh, that's painful. It hurts. Oh, 
we got here? Looking for the, uh, there it is, but no good. No. PC opportunity was knocking. RJ makes another miss drop. It's not too bad. Not too bad. It's horrible. It's the end. He's lost. Oh, oh, you don't like to see that. Oh, he's Ooh. gonna kick the he's gonna kick the the L in there. Does that work? This, this is way? all right. Yeah, it does. Boop. Okay. We love SRS, don't we, folks? I'm serious about SRS. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. RJ stops. No, that was a misdrop. That well, time. he can fix it pretty. Good. Okay. Oh, oh no. RJ, oh my God. Ah, uh, he wanted to turn that into two TSDs and did not set up the overhang properly. So unfortunately, that one was lost. Holy smokes. Uh, a little fumble in the opening from Sayonara. He's gonna, you know, clean it up actually pretty okay. So not terribly overstacked, but he's gonna be on the back foot for a little while. Yeah. Oh, really going for the, uh, okay. He did a good job. Oh no, pain. Okay, so much pain. RJ takes the game and now oh. is on set point. All right, yeah. Oh really? RJ? RJ is, yeah, he's committing real hard to these, uh, Center board TSD is here. Oh, he's gonna get away with it too, I think. Oh my god, the yeah. luckiest garbage in history. Oh, and he sets this up. It's nice and clean. Oi, they. Chooses to do something interesting there. Yeah, I'm not really sure what all the skimming is for. He's uh, not really making the most of that. But maybe figured there were too many. Like, it would have taken so many eyes to get down that it was actually a dependency problem or something. I don't know. We cannot feign to know the mechanisms of a tournament winner uh, like Radical Dreamer. Oh, no. Sayonara set up a cut copy and then had uh, had some misdrop problems right after that. He still has time. RJ is dealing with a pretty messed up zigzag garbage right now. Yeah, but uh, this is... Not a good board. He has to place, yeah, like at least three more pieces in order to just get to the garbage. RJ so. has been freed. Okay. Uh, kind of gave Sayonara some time. Death. Yeah. And RJ takes it 10-4. That was a uh, good set, though. A very exciting set. Absolutely. Again, Sayonara, first timer here. That's right. I think he gave a spirited performance. Absolutely.